Hi there, Kendra Tolbert here. I'm a registered yoga teacher and dietitian, and I specialize in women's health and fertility. And today I have a fertility yoga sequence for you. This one was designed to support you when you're feeling frustrated and angry along the journey to becoming a parent. This is not always an easy time and a lot of emotions can come up, including frustration, anger, resentment, or even this sense that your body has betrayed you. And so I hope that this practice gives you a place to vent those emotions, to acknowledge those emotions, and perhaps start to move through those emotions. So there aren't any props that you absolutely have to have for this practice, but as always, feel free to grab anything that you would like to have around to support you. Grab your mat, grab any props you might like, and let's get started. Come to stand at the short front edge of your mat with your feet about hips width apart and your arms down by your sides. On your next inhale, roll your shoulders up, and as you exhale, roll them down and back. Breathe here. On your next inhale, circle your arms up overhead, and as you exhale, drop your right arm down and stretch over to the right side. Inhale, come back up, circle your arm up, as you exhale, drop your left arm and stretch over to the left. Inhale up through center. Exhale, right arm comes down, stretch over to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, left arm comes down, stretch to your left. Inhale up. Continue inhaling up, exhaling from one side to the other at your own pace. Make this your last inhale up. As you exhale, arch back, bend your elbows. Look up at the sky. Inhale, come back up, arms straighten. Exhale, bend back, arms bend. Inhale up. Exhale, arch back. Continue inhaling up and exhaling to arch back. Last time, come back up through center, arms are up. Exhale, circle your arms down. Now begin to shake your hands, your wrists, your arms. Shake out your legs as you continue to shake your upper body. Just give yourself full permission to shake however you'd like to. Feel free to vocalize in any manner that makes you feel good as you shake. Then be still. How do you feel? On your next inhale, circle your arms up overhead. Exhale, circle your arms down as you hinge forward, reaching down towards the mat. Walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Then take opposite elbows into your hands and begin to swing from side to side. Be 
be still here for a moment. Release your hands down towards the mat. Bend your knees. Come on to your hands and your knees. And set up for cat cow. When you're ready, inhale through your nose, arch your spine. Then exhale through pursed lips as you round your spine. Inhale through your nose and arch. Exhale through your mouth and round. Continue inhaling through your nose, arching your spine. Exhaling through your mouth, rounding your spine. Trusting your breath to be your guide. Come back to a neutral position. Then take a seat at the center of your mat and place the soles of your feet together. Bring your knees down towards the mat. Feel free to grab a prop and place them underneath your knees. If that feels nice to you. When you're ready, bring your hands to the tops of your feet. Bring your fingers to the spot between your big toe and your second toe, then slide your fingers down to where the two toes meet. Begin to tap here at liver three. This is a great acupressure point for when you're feeling frustrated or angry. Begin to make circles at this spot. first in one direction. Change the direction of your circles. Then be still and apply gentle pressure here. Release your feet and move your hands up to your shins, knees, or thighs. Inhale to lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, drop your head over to the left. Use your left hand to massage the right side of your neck and your right shoulder. Release your left hand down. Slowly bring your head back up through center. Inhale to lengthen your spine. 
and as you exhale, bring your head over to the right. Use your right hand to massage the left side of your neck and your left shoulder. Bring your right hand down. Bring your head back up through center. Then, when you're ready, begin to make shoulder circles to the back. Make this your last shoulder circle. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up and out to shoulder height. As you exhale, cross your left arm across your body and use your right arm or hand to draw your left arm in closer to your chest. Release your arms down. And on your next inhale, arms come back up. Right arm comes across as you exhale. Use your left hand or arm to hug in your right arm. and release your arms. If it feels comfortable to do so, lie down on your stomach, rest your forehead onto your hands, then alternate bending and straightening one leg and then the other, kicking your legs up and down. Allow yourself to move freely here. Bring the tops of both feet down to the mat and gently tap them against the mat. Enjoy a moment of stillness. When you're ready, roll over onto your back. Reach your arms up overhead, give yourself a full body stretch, then walk your hands, arms, legs, and feet over to the right side. Come back through center and then make your way over to the left.
come back through center. Bend both legs. Soles of your feet are flat on the floor. Arms are down by your sides. Draw your right knee in. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Then draw your left knee in towards your chest. You can hug your left knee in by placing your hands behind your left thigh or the top of your left shin. Begin to rock your hips from side to side. If you'd like to, you can continue to rock from side to side, or you can choose to be still here for a moment. Bring the sole of your left foot down to the mat. Then bring the sole of your right foot down. Draw your left knee in, cross your left ankle over your right knee. Then draw your right knee in towards your chest. Decide if you would like to interlace your fingers behind your thigh or the top of your shin. And begin to rock your hips from side to side. Feel free to continue to rock your hips from side to side, or take a moment to be still. Bring your right foot down to the mat, followed by your left foot, then bring your arms out to the sides at shoulder height, bend your elbows, and depending on if you feel comfortable doing a twist, you can take your feet wide and drop your knees over to the right. If you don't feel comfortable doing a twist, perhaps you are stimming or you're just having some abdominal discomfort, feel free to bring your knees together and walk your feet out as wide as the mat. If you decided to take this open twist, bring your knees back up through center, and then drop them over to the left. If you're in constructive rest, remain there. If you are in the twist, bring your knees back up through center, and whichever variation you are in, straighten your legs, bring your arms down by your sides. On your next inhale, squeeze every muscle in your body as tight as you possibly can, and as you exhale, release and audibly sigh. Let's do that again. Inhale and squeeze. Exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. If it feels good and comfortable to you, I invite you to close your eyes here and rest.
when you're ready, begin to wiggle your toes, your fingers, wiggle your nose, and roll over onto your side with your knees bent. Slowly press yourself up to come to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. On your next inhale, circle your arms up overhead, palms touch, and as you exhale, hands come down to the center of your chest. Take this moment to thank yourself for giving yourself this time to move and breathe and be honest about how you're feeling. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you in today's practice. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. You can also head down to the description box below where you will find a link that will take you to my store. At my store, you can learn more about my services, my website, you can make a donation if you want to continue to support this channel. You can also buy the Fertility Yoga Guide, the PCOS Yoga Guide, or learn more about a course that I contributed to for PCOS. All right, so I hope to see you next week. Be well and bye for now.